start by creating a new bot and um, we want to create from scratch give it a suitable name and then click save we don't need any special permissions for this bot so we can just leave the standard permissions so when we collect connect to workplace um, we can just use the permissions that are already there click next Select your workplace account and then add to workplace. Once it's connected, it will redirect you back to the bot platform. And we can now get started with our messages. So let's go in and edit our welcome message. We just like a little text introduction to the bot. And then we want to ask our first question around the dates that they want to book a meeting room and we want to save it with the user attribute of date of meeting and we want to make sure our date format is correct and then we'll set up a new error message and then we'll send it to the time of meeting message if they put in a date format. So click save. And now we've got our new meeting. So we're going to set up the not a date message first. And now we do our time of meeting message. And we'll give it save it as a new attribute. And then we'll send them to our looking up message, which is called searching. save and we've now got our searching message so we'll add a little text holding message and push this, those live and now we need to go in and set up our new scenario in Integromat. So for this we want webhooks and we also want a Google Calendar. So we select those two and click continue. And we need to set up our custom webhook first. So add a new one. Save 
and copy the address to clipboard, head on back over to your bot and in the searching message you want to now add a webhook. So we click to configure, paste the URL in and then click save and then save it again. Push those changes live. And now if we go back over to our bot, click OK. And we'll run it once. Go back into your bot and test your bot all the way through. it's now triggered that in Integromat and you can see it pulled through the data so it's pulled through the time and date of the meeting so we can now use those to continue editing first we need to go in and set up a new calendar for our resource booking and um, so if you click on the um, plus next to other calendars and create new calendar. Give it a suitable name. Now I'm going to click create calendar. And if I go back to all my calendars and deactivate all the others, you can now see that we have our new calendar we've just created. So if we head back over to Integra Map, and now we want to add our Google Calendar, and we want to get events. This will search for events. So you want to use the Bootcamp 5 calendar we've just set up. You need to click the Continue execution even if no results because we obviously if we want if we get no results that's what we want you want to add date of meeting and time of meeting in your start date and then click ok and if we now run this and if we just test the last step of our bot you can see there that it's um, found no events currently in the calendar, so everything's empty. So now we want to set up a message um, for when to collate the meeting end time. So we can search between two times. save that against a new variable and then we'll send that to our searching message and we want to go in and change the time of meeting now to go to our end time of meeting message so it's essentially adding another step in the flow just so we can get the start time and end time and once we've done that push the changes live And if we now run our bot and go through and test, and we'll test from the start so we can get the full process. Put in our start time. We've got our new step to collect our end time, and it's now gone through to our webhook. So you can see we've it's found no meetings because we've not actually put any in yet. But we'll add uh, our end time into the search. So again, you want to put the date of the meeting variable. 
and then the end time of meeting and click OK and it will now search for the start and end time. So the next thing we need to do is add in a router. So this can then check if the room is already booked we can send one message and if it's not booked we can send another. So this is the if it's not booked so we want to create an event in the calendar to create our booking. Set our calendar. In this instance we use the first name and last name of the person booking the room as the calendar entry. Our start date and time which are pulled through from our webhook. So the date and then the start time. End time again pulled through from our webhook which is the date of the meeting and then the end time of the meeting and then click OK. So now when we go through that flow it will put a meeting in our calendar. So we'll go in and test just the last step so it triggers a web webhook and you can see that it's gone through and it's created an event in our calendar. And we've got an event ID at the bottom and if we go to our calendar we can see it's now appeared. So we'll add a webhook response for this step. And this is where you need to go over to our GitHub documentation. And we just want a simple text response for this one. So copy and paste that. Put it in the body field. Change the user ID to be the Facebook ID pulled through from our webhook. And change the text to reflect the room booking. Click OK. So we now have our room booking flow, but we need to set up a filter um, to make sure that this only goes when the room is free. So basically we want our get event step, if there's no event ID then that means there's no booking at that time so we can then go ahead and book the room. So that will not only trigger if it's empty. On this step we need to add a filter for if it's already booked. So basically we want to see if an event ID exists, then we know there's already a booking at that time. So that's our filter for our booked. So if we go back into the platform, and we now need to create a new message, which will be our essentially our error message for when the room's already booked. And we give them the option to start the flow again so they can try for another date and time. take them back to our welcome message. So we now save that and push it live. And we now have our if room book message. So if we go back over to Integromat, we want to add in a webhook response. And for this one, we want to use the send a predefined message on the platform message because then we can send them this new error message. So copy that out and paste that in the body field. Update your user ID to be your Facebook ID from the webhook. 
and then we need to change the message number to reflect the new message on the platform. So if you go back to the platform, find your if room is booked, hover over the edit button and you'll see at the bottom there's a URL pop up. You want the number at the end of that URL and that tells them which message to send. So we'll write that message into here, click OK and now we have our error message. So if we save that and run it all the way through, we've already got a booking in the calendar. So if we click test on our last step, we should now receive our error message. There we go. So we now have our error message pop up. So we can then go through and start the process again if we want. And you'll see here it sent that message from the platform. So that's as simple as it is. So we turn it on, done.